Okay, people. So when I first heard, right, that they were doing this film, I figured I would check out the book. So that's what I did, right? I checked out the book of Bullet Train. It's called Maria Beetle, I think. I feel that's how you pronounce it. From Kotaro Izaka. Okay. So, um, yeah, I gave it a try. Didn't really gel with it, man. So, you know what I mean? I kind of like, okay, bounce. So I didn't really bother with the uh, with the film. Um, but it just hit, right? Just hit. So I was like, hey, you know what? Shall I, shall I do it? So, yeah, I kind of figured, all right, I'm going to check out, uh, yeah, I'm going to check it out. So, that's what I did, people. That's what I did. And, um, yes, so, right, it is directed by David Leach, written by Zach Olawesik. You know, um, it is produced by Kelly McCormick, Leitch, and Antonio Farouk. Uh, Jonathan Seller is on cinematography. Um, Elizabeth Rola, Rolanza did here, edits the piece. Dominic Lewis handles the music. Um, Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, all right. So then our cast we got Brad Pitt as Ladybug, um, Joey King is the prince, all right? Aaron Taylor Johnson is Tangerine, Brian Taylor, Brian. Ta Wait, firstly, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Right, I always get him mixed up with that the chick with a similar name, right? Because I always forget. Oh no, there's there's kind of two with the similar names. It's very confusing. Anyway, um, yeah. Then you got bright. He, so he's Tangerine, and Brian Tyree Henry is Lemon. They're um. Yeah, they're, well, in this, they're brothers, right? Growth British, dodgy accents, very dodgy accents. Um, we got um, Andrew Koji plays Yuki Komora. Um, yeah, we've got... Uh, his dad, played by Hiroku Sandaya. Um, White Death is played by Michael Shannon. Um, we've got Bad Bunny, aka Benito A. Martinez Oscale, playing the wolf. Uh, you got Zazie Beats as the Hornet. Um, Logan Lerman is the White Wolf's son. Uh, Massey Oka is the train conductor. Karen Fukuhara is Kayada Izumi, the um, serving girl. We've also got Shannon Tatum as a passenger. Ryan Reynolds is another assassin called Carver, right? So they're in it. And Sandra Bullock is Maria Beetle, the um, handler of Ladybug. Okay. So, um, yes, I feel, yeah, I feel that's the, the majority of everyone we need to know essentially, 
Uh, the gist is this. Unlucky assassin Ladybug is determined to do his job peacefully after one too many gigs has gone off the rails. Fate has other plans, however. Ladybug's latest mission puts him on a collision course with lethal adversaries from around the globe all with connected yet conflicting objectives on the world's fastest train. The end of the line is just the beginning in this non-stop thrill ride through modern day Japan. And that, people, is one of the weirdest parts of this film, right? It's modern day Japan, right? Because there's not many Japanese people up in the film. Right, that you see them in the background, but not really in the main cast. Which I'm like, okay, you Hollywood make a big adaption of this, but you know, fine, that hap it happens all the time, right? They're, they're doing um, a, a one of the uh, gosh, there's that I think there's a train film with it was a Japanese train film with zombies on or a Korean film with zombies, right? And they made an they're making an English version, or they've made I forget, I lose track, people. But it you know, it just happens, right? I think they were doing an English well, they oh yeah, there was the English version of Old Boy, which oh that stunk, right? That stunk. Thought they were going to do an English version of the raid, you know, which kind of already got done with dread, which is crazy because they came out roughly the same time. So it wasn't like they, you know, dread wasn't copying, but it was a very similar, right? Anyway, tangents, man, tangents, right? So I just thought it was odd to do the film in the way they've done it, but with no, like, a load of Japanese actors in these assassin roles, because that's the book, it's all Japanese assassins and stuff, I think there might be one foreign person, I think, maybe, but yeah, it's in Tokyo, like, you could have put it anywhere, right, if you, if you want to make it international, put it somewhere else, or still have it in Japan, right? But just have some more Japanese people in the lead roles. You know, it's just, it's very weird because you get all of these conflicting things all the time, right? Like, we need to do more, you know? It's just like, oh, you can't have a non-gay person playing a gay character and you can't have a non-disabled person playing a disabled character and we need to have more this and this roles and this and that roles. And then you just do something like this and it's just like, wait, all of you people just a year ago were like, we must try harder. Oh, I'm going to be an ally. I'm going to... And that goes across the board, Right? It's not just caring about black issues or female issues. It's about everything, right? Diversity is a swathe. It's not just, oh, well, we handled that and we handled that. Let, let's, you know, fuck everything else, right? It is so weird. You know, it, it's just like you can't take the piss out of this. And you can't take the piss out of that. But you can take the piss out of ginger people. Right, there's, there's, it seems to be there's these certain things that everyone's just like, ah, that's fine to fuck around with. Not those other things, though. Right? And so that was, it was just a weird thing watching this film and, and like going, huh? What is happening? Now, it pretty much went how I figured, right? Because to be honest, I, the book just irritated me. I didn't really dig the book, but I kind of felt it, it, it was very much of like a Japanese lilt, you know, when you read a lot of those type of books, it kind of runs in, in this kind of similar vein, so it's not surprising in that regard, 
But yeah, there's just too many things like Prince. Now they gender swap Prince in the in the book. Prince is a boy. In this, he you know it's Joey King, right? And she's a lot older than what Prince is meant to be. Because in the book, you're just like, wait, you're telling me this little kid is convincing people that just seemed ridiculous. And it's a bit more believable with a girl. Because, you know, dudes are going to be like, oh, okay. Oh, ooh, maybe she'll let me do a thing if I do this. But you know what I mean? So it's a bit more believable. But still, it's just like, oh, what are we doing here? This is stupid. And it, it's just, yeah, it's a lot of weird changes, right? Like Lemon and Tangerina brothers. They're not brothers. Right, but the Thomas the Tank Engine thing in the book is weirder than what it is in this. Right, we have people surviving that just didn't survive in the book, and you're just like, why did you not go that other way? Right, and especially with the parents, that was a big thing. And for some weird reason, they opted to kill one of the parents off. And you're just like, I mean, they didn't even make the, the, the main body of the film. Do we just see him in a flashback? And you're just like, why, though? Right? There's no real need. That, like, it was kind of cool that they were doing their thing. So, yeah, that's weird. Why would you do that? You know, so there's these odd changes and these things which you like Brad Pitt is annoying. I mean, I should say the character is annoying, right? The, yeah, everything's just like, ugh. But again, it kind of plays out like the book. So the fact that I was pretty much annoyed doesn't really surprise me and we also got these things going down like crashes and just other stuff and you're like okay no one's surviving that or no one's gonna be able to do that right it, it, it's just these things that m didn't necessarily make any sense that were going down so it's just kind of like okay what are we looking for this to be is it an action film? Is it just some ludicrous kind of goofy action? For, like, what in what vein are we going? You know what I mean? But, yeah, it's, you know, certain things aren't necessarily explained or just don't really, it doesn't flow that well, you know? And the effects aren't, the best, I'll say the effects are the best If I can spot CGI and shit like that That means it's not very good Because I can't see for shit You know what I mean? So you know you're doing something wrong If even I can spot the shit You know? But, you know what? Listen, it made a lot of money People seem to like it Um, Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't blown away So I'm kind of like I didn't matter. I didn't see this straight away because I was not missing a thing. To be honest, the only film I'm like, oh man, should have seen that sooner was Nobody, right? A lot of these other films that I missed, I don't think they're great, you know? But hey ho, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But um, yes, anyway. Bullet Train, it's got an ensemble, ensemble. It's got a big cast. I've got a big cast. Everyone's doing, like the performances themselves aren't terrible, right? It, it's just the direction of the performance, right? That doesn't always necessarily feel right or make sense to me anyway. Right, and again, that might just be me, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it's uh, I watch it on Now TV, but you know what I mean? It's everywhere Apple, Amazon, or you know, or I feel it's on Netflix in the States, you know? So, um, yes, if you uh, didn't get around to Bullet Train, 
and you like a lot of these kind of, I'd say goofy action flicks, right? But that's what it is. It's like Mad Max. I, you know, the, the most recent one. I didn't dig it. Everyone dug it, right? And I kind of feel like if, if you like that, then this will resonate, you know? Yeah, I, I, it's, it's one of those. It's like everything, everywhere, all at once. I couldn't watch it all because of the fucking subtitles. But the bits that I've, the stuff, you know, I've watched probably 20 minutes, half an hour. I wasn't blown away. But I kind of feel, right, with some of the goofy action and everything in that. If you like that, I kind of feel, you know what I mean? Bullet Train feels a bit like that to me, you know? So... Yeah, this is just my thoughts, baby. Right? You can like what you like. I'm just trying to give you a flavor of what I feel on this shit. So, Bullet Train. Mm. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's a thing. It's out. Check it if you like. If you don't, I don't think you're missing anything. But yeah, that's just me, kid. That's just me.